I am not giving up the fight for a millionaire's tax so we can ease the property tax burden. New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy also announced a new energy plan and a new jobs education program. He got resounding rounds of applause when he said he would push for ethics reform to handle harassment and sexual assault complaints like the one raised by staffer Katie Brennan earlier this year. For too many years, too many people in power have turned their eyes away from behavior they knew was not only happening, but was pervasive in Trenton. But getting things done in Trenton, despite Democratic majorities across state government, has at times proved difficult. Last year alone, lawmakers could not agree on comprehensive marijuana legalization that included criminal justice reform. Instead, voters will decide the issue this November. Even important priorities, like dealing with the state's lead water crisis, stalled in Trenton this past year. Despite 30 proposed bills to fund and mandate removal of lead pipes and paint, only one minor bill passed. Murphy acknowledged there is serious work ahead on lead contamination. Let's work together now to come to an agreement on what this investment needs to be so that we can put it before the voters this November and we can invest in our communities that much faster. Meanwhile, members of the public told us they haven't seen enough progress on everyday issues like New Jersey transit and street homelessness. You have people sleeping all over the place in sub-degree weather. The train. Like the trains, uh, there's always like train cancellations and stuff like that. 